In today's video, I'm going to show you the very best way to freeze fresh carrots. And it's in five easy steps. Freezing is a great way to preserve either your harvest or a great deal that you get at the market. It's so nice to go and pull a bag of carrots out of your freezer when you need them later. Most of the work is done for you. They're already prepared. All you have to do is throw them into whatever you're eating or eat them as a side dish. Step one is preparing your carrots. Now, this is really easy if you have a mandolin. That's what I use. But you can do it by hand. And this stuff, this stuff is not trash. The ends of your carrots and the peels can be thrown into the freezer until you get enough to add to soup stock. You can feed them to your dogs in their dog food or you can compost them, but don't throw them away. Just like any time you freeze, you're gonna wanna freeze your very best carrots. Don't let them get too old because they will not freeze and come out well. Don't be using those rubbery ones in the back drawer. Use the fresh ones. So step one is getting your carrots ready, washing them, cutting them to the size or shape you want, and then the second step is to blanch them. That means you're going to put them into boiling water for a short time. Now, do I really have to blanch them, you might ask? And the answer is no. However, if you don't blanch them, they only last for a couple of months. If you do blanch them, they're gonna last for, for about 12 months. And this is why. And I really wish somebody had explained this to me 30 years ago because I used to not blanch my food before I froze it and it did not last well. Blanching your vegetables before you freeze them stops enzymes action. Like enzymes have specific jobs in life. There's enzymes that start the ripening of bananas and another enzyme that is the catalyst to apples browning when you cut them. In order to stop the enzymes from doing their job of ripening things, changing colors of things, breaking things down, they need to be deactivated. And while all enzymes react differently at different temperatures, most of them are deactivated quickly when in boiling water. So you don't have to blanch, but if you don't, there's gonna be a change in color, your food will be more mushy, and it'll have a loss of nutritional value as it ages in the freezer. And also, that boiling water helps kill any bacteria that might still be on the carrot. Start your water boiling before you even start to peel a carrot because that takes the longest. The next thing you wanna do is set up a pot for where you're going to put your carrots after they're done boiling. Let me show you. So what I've got here is I've got a pot full of cold water. I put a colander in it and then once I start to put carrots in my boiling water, at that point, ice will go in here. I don't put it in early because I don't want it to be melting. Now my water is ready. So I'm just going to be adding a few carrots at a time because it'll actually save you time in the long run. As I add these carrots, it's going to cool the water down and, it, and it's going to need to come back up to a boil because it's gonna to need to boil for a couple minutes. How we can tell when they're ready is they turn a brighter shade of orange. So at this point, I go get my ice. So when your carrots are about ready to be done cooking, you're gonna add your ice. Put your colander in. So my carrots are in there under the lid. They will come to a boil quicker and then they will take a couple minutes. If you have whole baby carrots, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but like more like five minutes. And to my carrots, I add a couple pinches of salt. All right, my timer just went off. And let's see, I just scoop them out. You can use a slotted spoon. I think this thing is nice because it holds more than a slotted spoon. Fish out our carrots out of the hot water and put them in here to cool down. Another tip, have a colander next to your carrots because when you pull them out of this, you can then dump them into here to drain. You want as much water out of them as possible so they don't stick together so much. Now I'm going to let these strain here, kind of shake them around a little bit until, until these are done. Okay, now I'm ready to put them in the freezer and what I'm going to do is Dump them onto my into onto a cookie sheet. Then I'm going to arrange them so they're not touching each other. Okay, these are ready to toss into the freezer. And I will just repeat the whole process until all my carrots are done. 
Now, you do not have to take the extra step of putting your carrots onto a cookie sheet. I do that because I don't like to pre-measure them. I don't freeze a ton of carrots. Mostly we eat them fresh. So I want to be able to scoop out the carrots and one cup, two cups, whatever I want and not pre-measure. If you want to skip that entire process, you can just put them directly into a labeled bag. It is nicer on you in the long run if you measure out the amount of carrots you want to use and package accordingly. Like if you have recipes where you add a cup of carrots, pack them up in one cup portions. This little group is not a ton of carrot. This could easily be put into one big batch of soup. So I'm just gonna see how much is in here. And then I am going to label just based on how much is in here. So it's about two and one thirds cup of carrot. So I'm gonna label, it's two and a third cups. And I'm going to try to squeeze out as much air as possible. If I were just to plop them in here any old way, like this, it's gonna freeze like that. So put it nice and flat so that whatever else you do decide to freeze, you can stack them on top of each other. This is the bag that the carrots that are on the cookie sheet will go on. I label the name, I put the year, and then if you see I have the date that I did this batch of carrots through, I don't know. Because as I have little bits and parts of carrots that I decide I'm going to freeze, I will just continue to add to that bag, and then let's say the last part that I put in there is July 15th, I will then just put through 715. It goes in the freezer, and I know these carrots are gonna be good early summer. Let's come back in and check these guys. Oh yeah. I really like parchment paper. This is another tip because you can make like a little taco with it. Place the one end in your freezer bag, grab onto the other end, and then you're just gonna pour it in. Let's see if I can do it one-handed even. Easy peasy. And then this little guy can get reused over and over and over again. I'm also gonna try to squeeze all the air out of this. So these are gonna go back in the freezer and live there until I add more to them. And that's all there is to it. You wash and cut your carrots, you blanch them, you put them in a water bath, you put them in the freezer on a flat cookie sheet so that they are not gonna stick together, or you just put them in a bag then you're done. It is so easy, it doesn't really take that much time, and then you have carrots all through the winter. That's all I've got for today, so until next time, see ya!